Hey Pisces, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for April 12th to the 13th of 2022. Alright, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Pisces. What's going on with Pisces in the next 48 hours, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know for April 12th to the 13th of 2022 for Pisces? Alright, let's see. All right, we have 38, which is an 11. Huh, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, 11. <laughs> Villain. You can always rewrite the story. We have 7. Sword. Make the change. We have 23, which is a 5. Confidence. It comes with time and practice. And the overall energy, 24, which is a 6. Potion. Remember to practice self-love. I'm getting a lot of air energy already. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini or have it highly aspected in your chart. I'm getting like a Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords energy. I feel like someone tried to, I feel like your voice feels raspy or you have a frog in your throat that like saying where your voice feels crackly or you keep clearing your throat. You find it hard to speak or say something. I don't know if you're afraid to be judged by your singing or your appearance. The overall energy is, remember to practice self-love. So whatever part you're anxious or insecure about, you should be loving on that part of you the most. Because I feel like you're afraid to speak up or speak in front of someone or sing in front of someone. You either have a speech you need to present, a project you need to present. There's something to do with your uh, oral presentation of some kind. And you're afraid you're gonna get crushed or harsh judgment. But it's time for you to go up there and speak your truth anyway, sing your song, your words are valid and what you have to say is very, people want to hear what you have to say. So also with make the change, it's like, um, I'm getting a literal depiction here. You see, you see how she's cutting her hair, she's, her, her hair has grown out. So she's cutting off the dyed ends. She's making uh, this change here. So I feel like you're uh, drastically changing your appearance or cutting off dead weight or just things that um, are making you insecure are no longer important to you. You're setting yourself free, lightening your load. I'm getting to the tarot and see what this is exactly. For Pisces, next 48 hours for Pisces, April 12th to the 13th of 2022 for Pisces. All right, we have Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. So this was karmically meant to occur this way. So you're, I feel like you're having a, I don't want to say a coming of age because obviously I don't know your age, but it's like, also the numbers I called out in the beginning could be dates, times, ages, put it where it goes for you. But I feel like it's a growth spurt you're having regardless of age. I am feeling a coming of age thing like you're you're breaching that barrier of something you've always felt insecure about you're facing your fears all right with the hang band this is pisces energy here you are seeing both sides of the situation so i feel like you're weighing your options you're like if i do this i'll overcome my fears i might embarrass myself though but at least you can say you did it and you faced your fears and it'll get easier to do over time and you'll feel even more accomplished even if you do feel embarrassed or if you stutter a little bit, you'll feel happier that you actually did it versus or you could just hide away, not do it and feel upset because you you ran away from this or let yourself down. So I feel like you have a golden opportunity to do something you've always wanted to do. I don't know if you're, I feel like it is public speaking of some kind. But for example, maybe you've always wanted to be on a TED Talk and you finally got invited to one or to speak at one and you're like, you're afraid. So it's like, it's always a thing. Something that we've always wanted comes with like the greatest fears for us. It's like you say you've always wanted to be a great dancer, but you have to get past being embarrassed and learning how to dance. Same with singing acting, all that. We're going to have embarrassing moments trying to be, become better or get to where we want to go. We have the six of wands. I see victory, success, and public acknowledgement. People will be clapping for you, praising you. So it is going to be a success. 
whatever this is for you. Because I do, I keep saying, I feel like it's a public performance or public speaking. Again, Six of Wands comes out with the hangman. You're trying to weigh your options. Either you could uh, avoid it, not go, or you could go and be very successful. I see people clapping for you. They're, they want to hear what you have to say. You have very informative information. You know what you're talking about. People are thoroughly interested in your research. You did a really good job. Or if you're singing, you have a really good voice. People are going to be clapping and praising you. Nine of Pentacles. So I'm saying this is you. I'm seeing this as you being... I feel like after this situation, you will be more confident now. Of course, you're going to be very nervous going up there. But once you hear the praise... Excuse me. <coughs> once you hear the praise and realize you did a really good job and people invite you back to speak again or you have a bunch of people asking you how you did this and or congratulating you on your work, you'll be like, oh my gosh, you'll be overwhelmed with confidence. I'm seeing you as the Nine of Pentacles. And this will lead, this situation will lead to the Nine of Pentacles, financial, insta I mean, financial stability and independence. I'm seeing financial freedom here for you. The Nine of Pentacles is a single, solid, stable, and abundant card. Regardless of if you're in a relationship or not, all on your own, you are financially stable and grounded and you have a full life. And I feel like this situation will lead you to that. More confidence than you've ever had before. This is an act of self-love. By facing your fears, it's an act of self-love. Overall energy is the judgment card. Obviously, you're afraid of judgment. This is what this reading is all about. Give me one second to take a swig of this water because I've been talking and my throat is dry. Y'all in my fifth reading today. So just know my voice is just... Mm. <clears throat> Clarify this for Pisces. Clarify this message for Pisces. Last shuffle. Clarify this message for Pisces. All right. I love these cards. I love the way they shuffle. Feels good. All right. Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune is the Knight of Cups. Aw. Okay. So I feel like you have a kind person coming to give you this offer or a pep talk. Someone's going to boost your spirits. Or they see that you're feeling down and out. And they're like, you know... I think you'd be good at speaking at this um this event. Uh, if somebody offers you a drink before the, the night before, don't take it. It'll mess up your performance. Or if they offer you a drink before you go on there to like dull your confidence, don't take it because drinks make you sweaty. You know, <laughs> and it's fine if you're chilling, but like yeah, don't. I wouldn't do that. I would I would do this performance or this speech sober, so that you can think clearly. But I do see a gentleman in a white suit approaching you at a bar or a place before the night before or the day before or, or the day of to give you some type of confidence. I feel like they're an older gentleman and they're really sweet. I do see someone giving you a pep talk. Oh uh, yeah, Ten of Wands. They, they help you relax or they give you their blessing or an apology. It's something really sweet, right? The night before or the day day before or an hour before you go on stage. It's like it happens right before you're about to perform. You hear some kind words from someone and it, it puts your burdens to rest. So in this cycle, you, you alleviate all of those things. The Ten of Wands is um, heavy burdens being put to rest. This person um, gives you that or they, they, they tell you something that makes you feel better. But don't drink anything from them because I feel like it's going to mess up your performance. Clarifying the hangman is the five of pentacles. Okay, so you feel alone in this. You feel like um, you don't have enough to be here. You may be around a bunch of people who have a lot of uh, degrees under their belt or a lot of experience under their belt or a lot more money. And you feel like you don't belong here, but you do. And I feel like that's what this person is going to come tell you. Like you are just as valuable here as everyone else. We all want to hear what you have to say. They all want to hear what you have to say. You've done your research. You belong here. I feel like you feel like an outcast or like you're not enough or you don't have enough to be here, but you do. And you go from the five of pentacles to the nine. So you do belong here. Don't only person doubting you is you. I feel like in the past you may have been silenced 
by a hater or family member, parent, friend, lover, whoever. That was in the past. You may have gotten choked up in the past or embarrassed in the past and now you're like afraid. But you wouldn't have gotten this offer if you weren't allowed or you weren't supposed to be here. All right, we have the Hermit card, Virgo. So you may have a Virgo watching you or, um, hmm. Or you could have Virgo highly aspected in your chart. I'm also getting that this Virgo, this Hermit card is telling you to look within, get everything you need from within. And I feel like this person, this guy giving you the pep talk, that drink is like a test. Are you going to use uh, something else as a crutch or are you going to get what you need from within? Because some people do take a shot before they go up and talk to someone or go out and speak because it, and it relaxes their inhibitions. But I feel as though you should get that confidence from within so you don't have to rely on anything else. So trust your inner wisdom, trust your inner guidance, trust your own judgment, trust your heart and what it's, it's telling you. It's telling you the right thing. I also feel like there's a Virgo who's going to um, help you question yourself. Or there's a Virgo who's going to, you ask some questions and they respond with the question because they're the type of person, at first it irritates you, but you realize they want you, they're teaching you to answer your own questions. It's like, for example, you ask someone, should I wear a red shirt or a blue shirt? And the Virgo's like, well, which shirt do you want to wear? Or which color do you like the most? They never tell you which one to pick. They ask you to answer your own question. This person, you have someone here around you and you're miss who makes you think. And at first you felt as though this person was just an asshole, but you realize they taught you how to think for yourself. I also feel like it could be a Virgo or a Pisces around you that drains you of your finances, of your wealth, or depletes you. But for others of you, I feel like there, you have like, you know, like the three ghosts of Christmas past. I feel like you have this this guy in white and you have this this Virgo, this hermit. And I feel like there's a third person who's going to come visit you before this. I'm feeling like the ghost of Christmas past, those three ghosts. Clarifying the six of wands and they're all here to help you. Some of them may call, come off as very sweet. Others will come off as harsh. Others will come off as detached, but they're all here to help you. Clarifying the six of wands is the king of cups. So you have, um, you could have someone who... Either you're in a relationship or someone who has a crush on you or likes you a lot. This person comes to celebrate with you afterwards or this person's in the front row cheering you on or they bring you a bottle to like surprise you with afterwards, like some champagne. So maybe the guy from the bar comes back after and congratulations. He's like, okay, now will you uh, celebrate with me? <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Clarifying the Six of Wands is the Queen of Cups. So you have the King and Queen of Cups here. So I do see you have a loyal supporter, someone who loves you a lot. Um, if you're dating anyone or someone has a crush on you or, you know, if you're in that stage where you both know you like each other, wherever stage you are in your relationship, that person is on the front row clapping for you. And that's so cute. And they're ready to celebrate with you. They already know you're going to do great. They're the one that's the loudest in the front clapping the loudest. <laughs> That's so sweet. They give you a standing ovation. All right, clarifying the nine of pentacles is the king of wands. There's a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or you could have fire highly aspect. And we have the knight of wands. Okay, so there, there's the third person. So we have, this is the third ghost here. Overall energy is the four of wands. Um, yeah, so you could be going to um, stay in a nice hotel. They may have bought you one. That's nice. I see that this position could lead to, um, or this, how should I say it? This performance is going to lead you to a higher position. Maybe they want you to come to a university. I see you staying at a very prestigious and luxury building. So I don't know if you get a promotion, a new office, a new job, new career, new place, whatever. I see you at, staying in a big prestigious building in a nice ass room, in a nice ass hotel. You, it looks great. And I feel like this opportunity leads you to a very stable opportunity. But I feel like someone's going to test your loyalty here. There's a fire sign who's going to test your loyalty to your person. 
because you have someone here who has your back and they're so freaking sweet but then you have a fire sign who is very they're single and they're but they're a player they're very independent they're very confident they're very financially independent and they see that you may be nervous and they they're going to try to take advantage of that of your nervousness so they come over and they're very charismatic someone's going to try to seduce you into coming back to their room or sleeping with them yeah, there's a fire sign who's going to, while you're on this business trip, while you're traveling over, because you travel ahead of your partner. Your partner's going to be there the day of, or your crush is going to be there the day of, but you go on ahead of them and you have your own room. So while you're out, I don't know when, but while you're out there without your partner, there's someone who's going to um, approach you. They see that you're nervous, you're out of your element, or they're going to pretend like they don't know who you are when they really do. They know that you're new, a new speaker there. And they're trying to persuade or tempt you to sleep with them. And this is someone who is single, but you are not. Okay. But if you are single, it's up to you. But I don't like this person because they're like, it's, a, it's just going to be a one-time thing, you know. And if that's what you want, be safe. But this person is like, they're showing up as the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So this this is what this person is used to. They're used to preying on the new girl or new guy, sleeping with them, coming over, seeing a train shift. They're very charismatic. They're very um, charming. They know what to say. And they're just like filling you up with all this sexual energy, chemistry. And it's just going to be a one night stand. And then they're going to move on to the next new girl or new guy. They just like the newness. They like that you're anxious. They like that you don't know any better. Like this person just preys on, um, you know, insecure people by being overly confident, charismatic. So this is like a one night stand type of thing. It's, yeah, Nine of Pentacles, this person is a bachelor or bachelorette. But I see that you have, I would hold off on that because you have someone here who really is supporting you. So you've got three tests here. I also feel like there's a Virgo who drains you of your finances. Don't give anyone any money at this time. You're gonna need it for your trip. So yeah. Um. Trust your instincts. Like I said, don't, obviously don't take drinks from strangers. That's just in general. Take the wise words, but nothing more. I feel like you are going to run into a drunk guy at a bar who gives you good advice though. Do not fall for this uh, fire sign guy who pretends like they don't know who you are. Maybe they tell you up front they know who you are and they know how to relax you. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right. Don't go back to anybody's hotel room or anything like that. All right. Um, you have someone here who's really going to um, support and cherish you. I would hang out with them. We have the king and queen of cups here. This person's going to be the loudest one in the front row cheering you on. All right. Let me give you your final message for Pisces. Now, this performance is just like, that's the energy I was getting that you are going somewhere for an oral report or project or performance. But it could be different for everyone, obviously. All right, for Pisces. Final message for Pisces. Last shuffle, final message for Pisces. We have bees. Peacock. Wildflowers and Creatures Paw. All right, I'm going to read what each of these cards mean. Some of them I will connect to the reading. Others I will be open to interpretation. All right, bees, togetherness, work, treasures. All right, and I do feel like you have someone on your team. You have multiple people on your team who support you. I do feel like um, the professors or the CEOs or bosses at this university... They like you. They want you to work there for them. They want you to be around them. All right? They're, they're going to judge you very highly. But if this king of wands is a part of that, I wouldn't stay there. So, like, yeah, take their recommendation letter and their support, but uh, take it elsewhere. <laughs> you know, go there, perform, get their recommendation and support, but go elsewhere. I wouldn't work there or get entangled with them because they a little messy all right peacock splendor the divine craving uh yeah again 
that king of wands. <laughs> All right. Wild flowers. Renewal, romance, awakening. Now, for some of you, if this is what you want, if you want to have a one night stand and you're safe about it, then go ahead. Just know that that's all it's going to be. This person wants to stay single. But if that's all you want to, then just be safe. Overall energy is the other, I mean, sorry, creature's paw, the other, friendship, forgiveness. I, that's what I did see this water sign coming to apologize to you. So maybe you are on the outs with the water sign, whether it be a lover or a friend. I do see that it's a lover. You're on the outs with them. So you go by yourself. You cut this person off or you have a fight or breakup beforehand. And then you run into this person. It's very tempting for you to sleep with this person. And if that's what you want to do, again, that's up to you. But just know that you two, you and your person are going to reconcile. So I wouldn't. I feel like this person preys on all the new girls and new guys. They're just going to sleep with you and move on to the next. They are not going to commit to you, so I would not waste my time if I were you. I would rather focus on rekindling with the other person who is going to surprise you by showing up. All right, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you are interested, sorry, I'm stretching. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. And if you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing and I have displayed here, her Etsy is linked below in the description box as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.